This video is powered by AMD. Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to do a let's play series here with PC building simulator So it's been a while since I did one uh, video like this But yeah, so this game is available on Steam uh, You can check out the link in the description for the store link It's still early access though, but still pretty nice game I see most people playing this game on YouTube So I decided to give it a try So you can see it's by the regular corporation So yes, and I did manage to feel around the game uh, for a while so I can get the feel of it So yeah, basically you building a PC but it's a simulator so yeah let's see how realistic the game is in terms of its uh, gameplay and so on so let's get started with Kirby we're just gonna play Kirby mode we're not gonna play the free view we're just gonna play uh, I mean the Kirby mode and see how it goes so we're gonna start a new game so let's get started Alright, so we have finally loaded into the game and now we are greeted with this screen. Welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, you'll go to your PC and open the email program on the desktop. You've got email. So yeah, as you can see, this is my house. So pretty small house or my business place. Uh, anyway, you can see I'm level 1, negative $15 as my starting pay. So that's interesting. And okay, let's get to our PC. So this is my PC. Cool. Email. Alright, we have an email ready from Timbo2000 So, hi, thanks for taking all the pizza from me, sorry, it's not a bad state, a few things Companies are doing well, it's no mind, the bank account can see negative 15 We ran energy bills come monthly, so make sure they have enough money for them And I have a new job to go, it's something you can see email below I'm going to use the thermal paste and putting in the CPU, obviously I always, almost always forget to put the thermal paste and the PCO heats <laughs> So I think you're all set up, company running and healthy, I feel really lots of love, Uncle Tim. Alright, so, oh, now I know why we have negative 15 because he brought the money for fuel, so, yeah. So, yeah, and let's see, we have a job to do already, so, hi team, I hope you can help me, my confidence will be running slow than usual, and I think I might cling on something I shouldn't have. Zero virus? Thanks, Gary. Actually, I'm not team, but team has left, so I'm the new owner, owner of this shop now. And yeah, so this is our first job, and we can start to fix, I guess. So this is, uh, let's just get out of this computer. And, oh yeah, here's our package. Scan, so this is the PC we have to fix, it seems. Grab, and put it over here. And yeah, oh, nice case. Looks pretty nice, to be honest. So yeah, uh, well, let's just dismantle. Plug the PC in. For this job, you need the virus to run a virus scan. Press 3 or the cable button to plug a monitor, alright? So, 3 and. Yeah, you can just plug it in. Cool. So, just like this. Connect to the graphics card. Connect to the power supply. Insert USB drive. Now, you need to put USB drive in the back of the PC. You can install, okay? This is pretty easy. So, let's install. USB drive. There we go. So press P to power on. All right, power on. Ooh, it's fan spinning. And PC is lit up. Install virus scanner. All right. So and the remote programs pretty straightforward. Virus scanner installing. Here we go. It's installing. It's pretty nice OS. OS. Restart. All right. Booting to Mega OS, <laughs> it's cool. There we go. So I have a scanner, and let's just scan and see how fast. Whoa! Look at all the files. Whew! Two seconds and it's found 290 infected files. Wow! Let's clean them. All done. You remove all the viruses and yeah. Obviously, guys, in real life, you won't be able to clean as fast as this, but this is a game, so pretty, pretty nice anyway. So let us. Uh, yeah. So we have actually. Uh, done all the tasks, we can leave the leave it by the door already, that's quick. So we've done our first job it seems. So here we go, claim a reward. And I'm not gonna hit collect, alright. Email. Oh yeah, we can collect. So 100 bucks for our first paycheck for the first day. Oh, and we got a new mail from oh this is uh, by G by Gabby again. Hi there, so thank you for PC. No problem sir. 
always been a pleasure. And let's see, we have another guy. Whoa, we have more mails. Uh, it's by Sherman. Hello, you have my PC, he's running as well. Probably not taking the best because you have uh, Alright, thanks. So, again, another person having issues with viruses and needs to clean up the PC, which is kind of interesting. So let's accept the job. Because we will take a day to arrive, so end the current day by going to the workshop door. Alright. Broken graphics card. Ho oh, oh, ho, what have you done to your graphics card, dude? Anyway, uh, hi, my graphics card has fried itself, <laughs> and I need to be replaced with the same one, please. A GTX 970, maybe one of those Sheen ones. Sheen is a brand, I'm assuming. I can drop it around first thing tomorrow morning. Alright, so another uh, request here. Okay, so we have to replace the graphics card and install a new one. And we have another offer here. Hello. Need some more space to back up my files. Going to install a hard drive. My existing drive, please. I'll bring it around first thing. Thank you, Gemma. Right, I'll accept that. So we have three new jobs, it seems, for day one. As uh, we have more things to do now. Alright, so let's see. Um, should we end the day? No, let me just buy something first. Mm, we can, let me see, let me see. This one is easy. So, this one comes tomorrow. This one... We have to buy a graphics card, uh, which is installing a GTX 970 or better. And this one, we have to install a hard drive, which is 500 gigs. So, let's go to the shop and see what we can afford. Um, graphics card... 970, it seems. Gotta be kidding me, it's around $65, so no way we can afford that now. So, uh, we'll just see how much is the hard drive, 500GB SATA. So, go to storage, uh, 500GB, 50 bucks, so we can't afford this one. We can just buy this one now, since we. Alright, so, just want to pay for fast renewal for days, yes. Uh, so, we're gonna go for the next day delivery since we're getting most of, of our. Uh, our deliveries are coming tomorrow, most of them, so we're gonna buy for tomorrow. Save some money, and yeah, I guess that's all for the day. Let's take a look at my room, I didn't get a chance to look at my room actually. So these are all my parts, it seems it's just a wall of empty, it's an empty uh, whiteboard. Cool, so nice, some nice banners here. CPU, computer power user. Maximize your PC's performance. Another banner here, Project Clunk. Um, what's this? Ambience, Ambience Industries, Eel Ambience, okay. Fuel is Law, it's a case mod. Uh, the modzoo.com, okay. And the modzoo.com again. And this is another story zone, which so I can unlock when I'm level 6. <laughs> And yeah, so actually, what's my PC specs? I also don't even know, but yeah, we'll get back to that later. Let's just go and end the day. So let's just turn off the lights. We don't need the lights. Good night. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> I can't even see where I'm going. Um, where's the door? Oh, there, there there's a door. I'm gonna see. <laughs> Right, end of the day here, you can end the day advance tomorrow, but make sure you accept your jobs and order the components you need before you go home, alright? I've done everything you can see tomorrow, we get all things. So, end the day. The customer's PC is here, pick it up with the right, right mouse button and take it to your workbench, okay? So, go to work, your parts are here, okay? Alright, we're total darkness because switch off the lights, how dumb was that? Let's collect our goods, we got the hard drive, and these are all our PCs to fix. Turn on the switch, right, there we go, ah, nice. Mm, this one, which one's the easiest? Let's do the virus one, which is easiest. So, whoa, look at your PC, brother, oh my goodness, how you have, what have you done? It's so dusty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to clear that up. So let us clean the PC. So install button to get the compressed air from tools. Right, so let's install the compressed air. Let me just take out the casing, it's just terrible. So that's how you take out the casing. Unscrew. And let's just get the compressed air. So this is free by the way. Blow the dust. Oh, look at that. My goodness. Oh, now it's clean. So we just click, I guess. Yeah, so we're just clicking to clear the dust. 
And that goes, that is nice and clean now. Let what else you have to clean, I think, over here. Seems dirty a bit. Yeah, down here. There we go, here. And the PCI uh, graphics card area. Alright, that goes. So the motherboard's clean now. And what else? I think the dust filter's clean. Yeah, it's clean, it's green color already, you can see. So done, we have done cleaning of the dust. And now let's remove the viruses, so let's install the drive. And let's plug in all the cables as usual. Connect the motherboard, connect the key, uh, keyboard, uh, graphics card, and power supply. So let us uh, power on. There we go, it's booting up. While it's booting up, let's put back the case. As we don't need to install anything, so we just seal it back up. And good to go. And now let us. Hey, there's a bit of dust here. I don't know why, but anyway, let us continue on with installing. I have a scanner. Restart. Booting into Omega system. And there we go. Let's start. Look how fast it scans the entire PC. My goodness, that's quick. Two seconds as again. Warning, files found, alright, 487 infected files, that's a lot of junk there, and clean, that was an instant clean, <laughs> it's just 0.1 second, alright, so done, you can shut it down, and yeah, clear man, done, this is an easy one, now well, let's do the next one, this one, replace graphics card, I can't do this as of now, I don't have the parts, so, I'm gonna install this one, I'm gonna upgrade the, uh, to an extra hard drive here, so let us uh, remove all the panels and there so where is that hard drive um, there's the existing one so she wants to add one more so let us uh, open the bay and let's remove this one I can't see I can't really see where to install the hard drive install um, storage this one there we go and let's close the bay and now it should cable up so you can see we have to connect the SATA cables to the PSU and the data cables to the motherboard and there there we go it's all done cable management is looking good let's connect the motherboard power supply graphics card and you know Ready to rock, power on. Let us put the case back. NZXT case looks pretty sleek. And now let's put like this uh, side panel as well. And we are done. So we have booted up. I think everything's good. So let us take the PC and put it over here. So yeah, these two are done. This one. We can't do this until we have enough money for our graphics card, so let us just skip the day. Go to the email center, and when this one is done, let's just throw that away. This one done, done. Collect, got it, and collect. Hot and broken PC by Audrey. So we have another email here on the second day, another email here as well. So. Right, we have enough money by a graphics card. Anyway, let's read this one first, but this is by Audrey. Hi, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly, so... Alright. Uh, it's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be very dirty. If you do have to replace a fan, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. Thanks, Audrey. So, it looks like we have to replace the air cooler and clean up the dust, which is I think it's gonna be uh, pretty simple so yeah let's just read the next one this is by Geoff I am giving my daughter PC my daughter uh, giving my daughter my PC and she needs a lot of RAM apparently she says she needs 60 GB of RAM and I've currently got 2 and 4 G 4 RAM slots on my motherboard thanks Geoff so she just needs 16 so I'm just gonna upgrade 16 gigs straight away and this one just buy a cheap air cooler so yeah, should be good. Let's just accept it first. So we go to the shop. Let's get a 16 gigabyte stick. Oh no, not this one. 16 GB. Let 
must have come out. Weird. I don't think I have any 16 gig stick. Yeah, we can't really have 8 sticks in the shop, so just 8 GB stick. Oh man, why doesn't work? Okay, we can, we can just buy one of these. You can buy the Shin Titan XL 8 GB, this one should be sufficient enough. So we just buy two, and uh, what else do we need? Um, we need an air cooler, I think we can get a cheap one. So just let's go to the cooling section. So sort by lowest price. Yeah, we're getting this Mortini Turbo 100. Oh my goodness, this looks like a stock Intel cooler. <laughs> yeah, looks like a stock Intel cooler. But it supports AM3 and AM4, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, let's just buy this one. 10 bucks only. And lastly, we have to buy the graphics card earlier, which we got it from yesterday. So we need a GTX 970 or better. Obviously, I'm just going to get a GTX 970 because that is enough for him. So yeah, uh, let's go to graphics cards. Just search 970 and this cost to 65 bucks. Yeah, I think I've enough. Let's just add to card. 465, damn it, I'm all short. Mm, yeah, I can't, so I have to uh, let us Maybe we can buy the RAM another we just buy the RAM another time. We just settle these two first, so buy now. Just settle this RAM issue the next day, and yeah, so now we are clear. We're just gonna uh, call it a day here. And day three, so we got our parts Mortini Thermal 100 and the GTX 970. So, yes, the Mortini is this one. We're gonna be, we're gonna be fixing this guy's one. I think he must be waiting for his PC for ages. So, let's fix this one first. Uh, all right, so wow, nice. Case fan, I mean nice CPU cooler. So let's just unplug the screws. Right, so we need to uninstall the graphics card. So let's remove the uh, pick the, pick the graphics card here. Let's take it out. Okay. Right, let's install the new one that uh, we just bought. So the graphics card this is broken. You can see it says broken at least. You can sell for eight bucks, which is interesting. <laughs> Broken graphics card still worth 8 bucks, not bad. Uh, let's install the new one. Sheen GTX 970 Gamer. And yeah, so now let us install the cables. Start booting it up. To test the PC. Last one here and power on. Here we go, fan spinning up, NZXT logo lights up, and we have the PC. So it does work. And now we just have to complete the case, so let us uh, put the parts back. And then, we're done. We'll just leave it by the door. Uh, what else we have to do? This one, yeah, we're gonna do this next. This one we can't do it yet for today, so let's do this one. Fix the broken parts. Oh, you have a pink color. <laughs> pink color design here which is interesting all right so yeah let's just uh, plug the things no uh, no this one yeah side panel oh my goodness look at that dust how you handle man wow it's dirty Ugh. let's get it cleaned up man blowing up all the dust up oh just want to look at the graphics card oh my goodness I can't imagine it so dirty I hate it. <laughs> it's just too dirty uh, we're gonna clear up here as well where else I can blow there's a blow sign here for the cooler fan here as well I think I have to remove the front panel though I can't uh, yeah I can clear it off so here, here we go clean now where else I have to clean here also Yeah, look at that dust at the power supply there. Uh, let's just get it clean. And done, it's green color. Right, now let's leave it naked. Uh, let's just get the air cooler replaced. So, let's see if we can take out the cables connecting to the yep, unplug um, from motherboard. So, let's take it out. And we're gonna install, we're gonna put a thermal paste first, obviously. And where's the cooling? It's the new one, Mortini Thermal. There we go. Uh, so let's plug in the cables 
connect, connect, pretty straightforward. And done! So now let us uh, plug in the cables. So it's pretty easy to, uh, I mean, if you want, uh, if you're not, if you're worried about cable management, this game actually handles all the cable management without any issue. So it's pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, you don't have to fit around the wire so much. Anyway, let's power on. But in real life, guys, um, obviously, cable management is very important for me. So yeah, I still prefer better cable management in real life. Anyway, let's plug in all the front panels and the side panels as well. Right, so we have done our finish our objectives for Audrey, so we can get back her PC. Good looking PC now. Uh, so this one, all done. So the RAM, we have not enough money for RAM it seems, so... Uh, let's see. The RAM is 16 gigs. Yeah, we don't have enough cash. Um, yeah, not enough. So we're gonna wait for the next day for the for our income to come. Let's get the uh, let's get our pay collect collect. Let's get all these old ones. Right, we have emails. So we have an old oh, this PC builders related team. We have leveled up to level two. Nice, so we unlock a bunch of stuff here from the store and also yeah so there's another milestone we have to achieve for level 3 and now let's see what other email we got alright hi there hope you can help my computer stopped working the other day and now it won't turn at all please can you have a look for me I think I'm in the motherboard if you need a new one I know it's a skylake rock socket oh well he already helped me so it's obviously an intel processor so we need to get a skylake socket uh, that matches his uh, intel socket it clearly says skylink so i don't have to think <laughs> so just change the motherboard pretty straightforward and this one uh this is by harry hello mate your help i brought my mouse brand new pc and then i click on something i shouldn't and now it's riddled with viruses i need it done getting back to a friend's house on first on 5th of january 2018 which is two days from now hurry cheers harry so yeah this looks like this uh task here is time task so we need to finish it by two days all right so um let's accept all of it all right let's get the ram first for the for geoff we'll get the ram from the store pretty quickly so i already plan to order this so order two and this one skylake motherboard so we're going to get a cheap skylake motherboard uh, let's go to the motherboard section and sort by price and filter by Skylake. So the cheapest one is the Mortini Z170 M Tech, which is 100 bucks. Yes, I still can afford this. So yes, we're gonna go with this one. Add the two card, and this one is just evil viruses. So it's pretty simple. Let's just uh, yeah. So we can't do anything already. So we got to wait. We got to skip the day to the next day. So let's go to day four. Oh no, I think I forgot to check out. Wait. Ah! I didn't check out, damn it. Ah, so wasted. <laughs> Unless I deliver the same name, it's gonna be ripped off. 400 bucks, is it worth it? No, an extra 70 difference. <sighs> but I need it now. I have to buy now. So, sad. Anyway, we got our package, so, yep. Okay, let's do the. Oh, this one needs to be done by one day, so I just want it fast. Let's do the RAM one first. This one, I think this customer has been waiting for quite some time. Oh, that's a quite looking, nice looking case. Cooler master case. The side panel. Yeah. So, we need to upgrade the RAM. So, let's, this is a 2GB stick. So let's just take this junk out. We don't need this. And we soon install the new one that we just bought. So install this one and the DFL multiple. So I'm gonna put at the third slot here. Okay, done. Just thinking of RAM, and now we're gonna install the parts back. Uh, there we go. 
So now let us put the cables and start the PC and we can give it back to the owner already. Done! Boot up! Oh, I just noticed his case doesn't... Is it see-through? It's not. not even, it doesn't have tempered glass. It's a sealed case. Poof. Alright, done. So we can take this guy and put it over here so I know it's done. And this one... One day. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do the replacement of the motherboard really quickly. Uh, okay, motherboard's broken. So let's remove the panels. Gonna be a lot of uh, cabling here. This one, we have to remove nearly everything. Alright, so cable, no, remove. We're gonna remove the uh, graphics card first, it's blocking the way, so let us uh, remove it. And now we're gonna remove the CPU cooler as well, so let's just take out the cable and the RAM as well. We're gonna have to remove most of the things, unfortunately. Remove, remove. We have to remove the CPU as well. This is what CPU? Celeron G3900, my goodness, it's so old. And we remove all the cables connecting it. So remove, remove, here as well. And done. Now we have to remove the uh, standoff screws, which is six of them, so it's gonna take some time here. And we're almost done. Done! So we have to remove this as well to. to put the motherboard inside so we're gonna take out this one all right so now let's get the motherboard the Z it's the same one by the way so all right done so now let's put the standoff screws done all right now we're gonna screw it properly Alright, so now let's install the CPU back. Property of wow, it says property of wood wood. Which means it's this one. Put the open the shield, install the CPU, close the shield, and don't forget the thermal paste because if you forget this, man your PC is gonna overheat like crazy. Um yeah, so now let's connect the cables. So connect HDD to the motherboard, the motherboard to the power supply. CPU, um, we're gonna connect the power supply. I think that's all. It's all connected. Yeah, now we're just connecting the rest of the uh, cables here. See, if we can boot up. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Oh my gosh, how dumb am I? The cooling. <laughs> you can't boot up without the cooling, man. And cable, this one. And the RAM. I can't believe I forgot the RAM. Um, storage yeah, memory is here. No RAM, you can't even boot up, so yeah, install the RAM. And here we go. So we should be able to power on. Oh no, uh, I think we. Damn, am I missing one more thing? Mm. Yeah, graphics card, <laughs> no video out. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to boot up not mistaken oh no yeah we connect the power to the graphics card and now we can boot up huh what I'm missing I think all is connected right mm. oh, no, I'm, I, I don't think I'm missing anything else the RAM is connected oh they say I'm missing some cables Oh, 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 the case, the case fence. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We can put up now. Alright. And done. So, we're just gonna plug in the cases. Let's put the side panel back. And we should be good to go. And we are done. They can leave it by the door. Okay, so we fixed already. And what's this one already? This one, remove viruses, alright, we do, we do this by today. So, this is pretty simple, let's just plug in the USB drive. You don't even have to remove the case, obviously, because there's nothing to change internally. 
mostly it's just hard software problem so let us plug in the things all right power on add programs so we're going to add the virus scanner so the installation is pretty much the same on all the PCs so <laughs> yeah uh, let's just restart it right a scanner so let's see how long this one will take to scan and resolve all the problems so let's see I think it's two seconds again yep it's two seconds we <laughs> found 530 infected files cleaning and instant clean freaking good done so shut down and yep lift by door so yeah we have done all our things and you can collect everything right yes you have done all our jobs collect 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 done oh here we go with more bills oh this is another email oh my god that's another one we have three yeah so alright guys so I think that's uh, we're gonna stop here for the first episode of uh, PC Builder si Building Simulator so yeah stay tuned for the next one I'll be continuing on where we left off and yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always I'm Jeremy so catch you guys in the next episode peace out <laughs>